way to actually do this practically is to make a tally on your scratch work. Write down the numbers 0 through 5 as different rows, and then as you're counting the cubes within the figure, make tally marks next to each number to keep track of how many of each there are. When you're counting, be sure to be very methodical. Look in the same point for every figure to, as a starting point, and count in the same direction from there every single time. Personally, I start in the top back left. So in this figure, that 5 cider, the one that's sticking up in the top of the column, would be where I'd start. I'd then move down below that for the 3 cider, then the 2 cider below that, and then move right to the 3 cider, and then the next column of the 5 cider again and the 1 cider, and then again all the way down to the right till I finish that entire row. Then I move forward and count in that order. If you don't have a preference, go ahead and use that order, but if you already have a system that you use, that's great. Either way, make sure you're always counting every single cube that's there, making the tallies, and then again comparing that with how many total cubes you've also counted. You can count the total number of cubes once you've totally finished, and again, this just serves to verify. If you counted a total of 12 cubes, you'll want to make sure that your tallies add up to 12 as well. Let's try this out by looking at figure A. Now, I won't count every single cube for you, but I will show you all of the cubes that are present and what they look like. So we'll start with the zero-siders, which actually aren't present here, because this isn't that kind of complex figure with hidden internal cubes. There is a one-sider, though, which is that one I had just counted. It's in the middle back uh, beneath that column. So there's one one-sider. For two-siders, there are two two-siders in the leftmost section on the bottom area. Three-siders appear in the back, and there are three of them. Four-siders appear in the front, and there are four of them. And five-siders appear at the top, and there are two of them. So our tally for this figure will be zero zeros, one one-sider, two two-siders, three three-siders, four four-siders, and two five-siders. Again, though, this isn't necessarily the order you'd want to count in. Instead, you'd want to be methodical, start in one position, and move very systematically out from there. Either way, once you've got the system down one more time, you'll always want to verify that the total number of tallies that you've counted, here 12, matches the total number of cubes in the figure, which again is 12. By doing this, you'll actually find that the questions are extremely easy to answer. So keep this tally in front of you as you then look at the next few questions. So we can breeze right through these, starting with number 33. This question asks, how many two-siders are there? Well, we've already made our tally. We've identified that those two-siders are present in two different cubes, so the answer here is two. Number 34, we're looking for the four-siders. Again, you would already have tallied these. You already know the answer must be four. So 34 is D. And finally, number 35, we wanted the five-siders. Remember, this one had those two up top, so the answer is two. So again, once you've actually made your tally, you'll be able to breeze through these questions in a matter of seconds. You want to spend only around two minutes or a little less making your tally. So you do have to be pretty efficient and have to be able to identify those patterns we just talked about in terms of how you'll actually see each of the different siders. However, once you've got these ideas down, you'll find that this process is actually very quick and efficient. So this section is a great one to do right away.